everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, do you want to know what my day was like? This is what my day was like today. I got up and took care of everybody. Yeah, it means take care of the dog, the chickens, and, and then the grandkids came. So today was a school day. But I was only teacher for a little while because then Jim had to be teacher. And I went to get my eyes examined. And my right eye, like I thought, was getting a little bit weaker. I could tell it was getting weaker. And they looked into my eyes, and I <laughs> they looked into my eyes. Look into my eye, as they say when they're hypnotizing you. But he looked into the eyes, and he said that when he had done, you know, how they do the turning of the, is this one better? It want one or two better. Which one? You know, and you choose. Well, the right eye was worse, and the left eye stayed the same. Then I had to get my glasses, and of course I chose some frames, and the lady goes, that's about almost $400. I go, $400? What? Mm. And she goes, yeah, because the frames, and she took the frames, and you could twist them. And I says, well, I don't need that. I'm not rough on my glasses. So the frames were over $100 themselves. So I said, these are in the kids' section? I says, I need something a little bit less because these were from the kids' section. And the reason I got these is they were narrower so I could put the helmet on and the motorcycle. And before I go on with the... Oh, <laughs> i got to go off track a second. Um, I had said that I'd been driving the motorcycle for eight years. Actually, it's over eight years. It was 2009 that I got my permit. I was talking to Jessica today, and she said, no, I was found out I was expecting Paige. And so 2009, I got my permit, and in 2009, I took my motorcycle test. And a lot of you thought it was strange that I took the test on Sunday. The reason is the ride for Pride, or ride, ride, with, ride pride. with Pride, I, don't, I always mix it up. They <clears throat> are an independent kind of, they, you pay them and they have the ability to give you your road tests and so they go monday through sunday they will go all week and so there's one group that's there a certain number of days and then another group of um, instructors are there on another days and so that's why the test was on a sunday so i've really been had my license since 2009 which is a long time when you think about it yeah when you think about it so, back to the eye. <laughs> I remembered where I was at. The, the, so I chose another pair of eyeglasses, and these were $17, but then you pay the doctor's fee, which was $60, and then you pay the lens fee. So the bill came to almost $300. So I saved about $100 on this. It's like, wow! And these, and the frames I'm getting... I don't even think they have the, the, where the, right here, I'll take them off. Right here, they kind of can, can you see that? They go like this. Well, I don't even think they do that. I think it's just a solid plastic, and it's like, oh, man. I, so I said to Jim, I will wear these in the motorcycle, and the other ones I won't wear in the motorcycle. And they all, the eye doctor also said that we all should be wearing sunglasses whether it's a cloudy day or not, and he, that would help with you if you are, um, helps to prevent cataracts. cataracts. <clears throat> now, I have, he said that I have very, very slight cataracts, and he says some people will never have to have them removed, and some people do. And I actually started, my eyes started going bad around 53, and he said, wow, you were on the later side when your eyes started to, you know, where my vision was starting to, where I couldn't see as well. And what it was is I couldn't talk to people. <laughs> I, if you were standing right where that camera's standing, I'd be backing up and saying, whoa, you're too close. But they fixed the upper part so that it's, it's where I can see. Um... The, and when I, I'm going to put a little video in, and I'm going to put it in right here. Well, I thought I would show you what I was talking about yesterday about needing rocks in the trailer barn. This is the trailer. It's a 23-foot Dutchman classic. And there's the beautiful flag that Mr. Jim made. Yes, sirree, Papa Jim. 
I had to stop for a second because he had the radio on and I don't want the radio on. He listens to podcasts when he's working. Well, this is the bat barn that we have to... See, these are the stones, the size stones that he wants to get. Looks like a quick bed, doesn't it? But it's not a quick bed. And he's been loading wood on this trailer. Wow, he's got a lot of wood. This wood has been stored in this barn for, oh gosh, I don't know how many years, many years. 20 years, probably? 20 years, yeah, probably. Whenever your father passed away and we cleaned well, up. How old's Laura? Oh, Laura is, oh gosh, almost 30. And <laughs> when gosh. did my mom move into the Star Apartments? I don't know. She's been, she was, she. She was probably there in, uh, I don't know. Very 20 years ago. She was probably home for 10 years before. I don't have you dad. in the camera. Do you want me to put you in the camera? I don't care. <laughs> I don't have you in it. You know, but, but anymore. Anymore, it's okay. If, if huh? people see me, they see me. They see you working. You're always working, Mr. Jim. They tell me that, and it's true. He always is working. Right now, he's stacking wood, as you can see. And he's I able to. Throw it in, and then I stack it up. Yep. And there's more to be this done is over here. Gotta come out. Wow. All of this. Look at that. Only a macaroni. Lot here. That's like for I said, sure. I've got probably a third of the trailer full already. Yep. And all I've got is that section in there. Wow. So. Well, and because because it's got the water the what has washed this away? Why is this like this? Because the well, roof leaked? No, actually. This is where the old barn was, was. buried. Oh, and it kind of sunk in. And I think in. that all the old wood and everything is rotted Kind of rotted settled. away. It settled. So he's got to fill in the hole. See, the it's lower. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's lower. I'll walk down into the hole. See, I'm coming in the hole. Now I'm coming out of the hole. Here. And we'll walk down. Okay. There, he's standing. I'm at the bottom of he's the hole. He's at the bottom of the hole. And okay. If you... Kind of pan around. The you just trailer walk is... up. You just walk out, and it will show. See, he's going up a little hill, and we have the paving stones there, so that when we come into the trailer, we walk. Oh, we walk onto this big paving stones, and this way we don't get into the stone stones at all. We just stay on the paving stones. I have my holy shoes on too. I don't know if they showed in the thing, and these. Roller skates, there's another pair. This was Laura's pair. These are precision skates, believe it or not, that we bought. I bought at the Salvation Army store, and it had a 50 on it. And I says, this is $50? And she goes, no, it's 50 cents. And I says, 50 cents? I paid $200 for my roller skates that were full precision. And these are full precision. So this is... I thought I'd just show you what he's doing. That's part of today's, oh, and there's our dinner bell. <laughs> oh, dinner yeah. bell. I don't have the rod. We don't have the rod that goes with it. Yeah. I don't know where the rod is. I don't know. But there's a dinner bell. You go bing, 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 whatever. Okay. We don't have a bell. We don't have a ringer. Do we have a ringer? Something to ring? No. I think what I could have here. We don't have any ring. pipes in here even. Wow, we got nothing. I got plenty of nothing. Get that <laughs> Nothing's plenty for me. That's all right. It's, they know what the dinner bell sounds like, I'm sure. It's loud. Ding, 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 ding. It's, da it's loud. <laughs> yeah, it's loud. We don't have a metal rod to bing it with. So, that's all there is. Okay. Well, I'll see you. All right. Bye-bye. Enjoy. Actually, I'm going to save a few of these. Yeah. Because eventually you may be able to make some turnings for you. Like, Ooh, like Chris does. Yeah. I've been wanting some turnings. So yes. I've got yes, yes, a few yes. of them saved upstairs. I forgot what his channel name was, but uh, he does. Arkansas Woodcrafter? I don't know what it is. is but that the one? I don't know what it's called, but I know his uh, name is Chris. Yeah. And he does a lot of turnings. He makes a lot of dishes or bowls, and he makes he made a goblet. He he makes even pen covers. 
They're amazing. It's like, how the heck do you do that? But he did. So that'd be great. And this is what I'd like to give the kids for Christmas is I'd like to get a turned, something turned from you, if at all possible. Look, at there's my shadow. I have a little shadow. It's in there. I don't like the shadows in there. I guess I better turn a little. Mm. There, I did all that talking with that shadow in there and didn't realize it. Oh, dear. It's going to stay. It'll stay. Yep, it'll, it'll stay. stay. Okay, well, I'll see you later. All right. Your dinner smells amazing in there. Mm, it's cabbage. It's like cracked slaw, but not really cracked slaw. It's um, got hot peppers. I put, ton I put 26 hot peppers in it, wow. so it'll be spicy. And I put some Swiss chard in it and lots of onions and some salsa because it was hot salsa. I thought I might as well add that. And some crushed tomatoes. Oh, it looks really good. It smells really good. And hamburg, of course. Yeah. Bur hamburger, I should say. Yeah. Hamburger, the ground, ground, beef. ground beef. Ground beef, it would be ground called, beef. yeah. Ground well, all righty. Well, right. we'll see ya. He does the work, and I go play with the kids. The kids are in the house, so I gotta go back in. They were watching how to trick people, sliming them and putting toothpaste or like um, food coloring on toothpaste and doing a lot of nonsense stuff. Learning how to do tricks and put markers on a, on a pen so then when they pick it up it, it um, makes you all blue or green or red or whatever color. Now in the video you heard Jim try to remember Chris's channel name. He got it wrong and I couldn't, I didn't even know what it was. But his channel name is Mountain View Turning. And what he does is he works on a lathe and it's really interesting how he will um, spin out bowls from just, he will, he will take the, it's actually got the bark on some of the stuff that he does. And he uses all different kinds of wood. He even used a, a tree that was wet like the kind we dug up, we chopped down, what kind was that, the willow, oh, willow. willow tree. It was a willow tree, which I was surprised because willow trees, we chopped my father's willow tree, well, somebody chopped it down. I don't know who chopped it down. John, Johnny. Johnny. Okay, and it got chopped down, and all of the chunks of willow were starting to sprout again. So willows, they are a bit, they're a good tree and a bad tree, weeping willow this is. I don't know what kind of willows you have where you're at, but we have weeping willows. And they say never plant them by your septic system and never plant them by your water system because the roots will just choke they, it up. They love water. Yeah, they love water. They drink up the water. So if you see a willow tree, you know there's got to be water around somewhere mm -hmm. because it's pulling it. He's also made uh, a lot of interesting things out of pallets and yeah he, he will take everything the, he takes the wood and he puts it together and you and you get these beautiful designs so if you if you like turning on a lathe and seeing beautiful wood, woodwork I would say go see Chris at Mountain View turning I will put his link in there you'll see it and it's really I enjoy watching and it's to me it's relaxing to somebody else I don't know whether it is or not but I like watching the I like watching the the sawdust come up every time he does it I say man I could sure use his his <laughs> wood chips that he's taken off of that my chickens would love it um is that everything I wanted to say today I think so and when I came out to come to the video I um go where's Mr. Brown well, he was perched on something higher. So I look in all of his places, and now he's found a new place. He's a little higher. Um, my room that's set up for the camera, there was something about that I wanted to say, but I don't remember now. Some They mentioned that it looks real professional. Well, it's not professional. I use chicken lights, and the curtains don't get hot. There's no... No, They're LED bulbs. Oh, yeah, that's why they don't get hot. I knew they didn't get hot <laughs> for a reason. But they're LED bulbs. And the curtain kind of diffuses the light, so you'll never see anything in my glasses because I don't have non-glare glasses. I have just regular lenses. It costs more to have all this other stuff, and it's costing enough to have the glasses. 
so when I went in, I wore my shield, my plastic shield. But before I went in, I asked the guy, I says, gee, could I have a mask? I have an eye appointment. And of course, I have to take the shield off because they need to get to my eyes. I did wear this just in case this... um this little scarf thing. I did wear it, so in case I had to put this on, I could have. But I didn't have to, thank goodness. I just wore a mask. But my goodness, it's hot under those things. And my glasses were steaming up mm -hmm. under my mask. They don't steam up. <clears throat> or under my shield, they don't steam up. But under the mask, they steam up. And under this, they'll steam up. It's not it, less under this, but under the mask, it was really steaming. And it was very, very... Not comfortable. Not comfortable. And it was sad because the poor doctor, he has to keep it on all day. He said he's been working all through this crazies that the world is going through. And um, it's sort of sad because he said, he gave me a card and he says, now next year I put the date on it so you know and put it on your refrigerator so you know when you're supposed to get your eyes examined mm -hmm. again because you're supposed to do it every year. And so I, because the, the time before this last time was like 10 years ago. My eyes hadn't changed, so I didn't feel it was necessary. But this time they changed a little bit, so I went and got my eyes checked. So when you see me the next time, no, not the next time, because it's, it's like the 20th. It'll be a couple of weeks. It'll be. And then you'll, I'll see who, who, who recognizes or who notices I have new glasses, unless I say it. <laughs> I probably would say it. Well, yeah, no one knew you would yeah, say I it. Yeah, I probably would say it. Well, that is the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed seeing Jim work. He works mm -hmm. a lot. And um, I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.